Hi everybody, uh, this is the Black Knight Gaming Channel. I thought I'd do a recording of this truck. I drove a little ways. I drove, it's about an 1800 mile run and the traffic is heavy. And, and I, I'm going to have to get fuel here pretty soon, but I wanted to show you this truck. It's a nice truck, but the headlights don't show when you're outside of the cab and the brake lights don't work. And then when you're in the truck with the, with the uh, windshield wipers on, it, uh, it don't, uh, you can't even see, the hard, barely see the four ways or anything in this truck. It needs, it seems like it needs a lot of work done enough on it. And uh, I'm going to Oxnard from uh, Billings, Montana with a, a load of it. I think it's like a container or something. But, um, it's a, it's a, it's, I used to drive a truck like this, but was, my truck was a, it was a 9400 day cab. It was a single axle truck. And they were good trucks, but they're too loud as heck. Uh, but no, like I said, the windshield wipers work, but they don't scrape the rain off the windshield. So I thought I wanted to give you guys a video of what I was driving and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, uh, I will uh, let you guys watch and hope you enjoy. And please subscribe or and comment on the truck and go from there. gets dark I'll show you what, what I'm talking about if it rains I'll show you what I'm talking about also so you gotta give you guys an idea I like driving the cab view uh, because of because uh, I'm a real truck driver and and you never see you never drive out of cab view and but if you're backing up in tight spaces I use the outside camera the truck picks up its speed really good sometimes I have to be careful about my speed in this truck but but they do but they do need to fix but they do need to fix the uh, tail lights on this truck and fix the mirror if you can see up on the right hand corner uh, how the uh, little passenger mirror is looks like I'm going to be coming in here pretty soon uh, not for sure what the name of it is but I will see I'm just testing this truck out and see if it's any good or not. I tell you, if it was drove in real life, DOT wouldn't pass the, it. It wouldn't pass DOT regulations. No brake lights, no tail lights, and the beams don't come out in front of your truck. Okay, I'm coming into Las Vegas. Hi, I'm doing a video recording right now and I will talk to you in a little bit.
want to watch a video I did a, a video last night I uploaded a northern Mich northern Michigan truck show it should be in the comment it should be in the chat down below rapid trains if you'd like to see that I was up in uh, Mackinac City last night recording the video of it I said it's a, it looks like a nice truck but you if you can tell right back in this trailer and the bumper hitch the backlights the taillights are not working properly like a D would T DOT if they saw that they would they would uh, get me really bad Tank, so 
it's probably about a 250 is uh, it's averaging around maybe 250 to 3 300 gallon tank I like I like automatic but I like doing shifting too but automatic I'm driving with a G27 steering wheel and um, it it works great when you're out and doing an automatic and I'm using the mouse to look both ways inside the truck and everything so I know what I'm doing so I try not to crash with other cars it's hard to just look like this you know straight ahead boy traffic is busy it's around um, 9.58 p.m. and the traffic pretty heavy here, here. Now yeah, horn does work. I got a Detroit. I know I got a Pascar engine in it. And, it, and Pascar 485 is a really good engine in a truck. Um, it does got some horsepower. And I hope this traffic gets out here soon. I hate to pull out in front of traffic. Looks like I'll have a leeway here after this one black car. Now I should be able to go. It's 80 speed limit out here out west. I usually have my cru cruise control on. What's going on? Well, Hercules, I'm doing a YouTube video on, uh, are, are you outlaw or Hercules? I forgot. It's outlaw. Oh, hey, outlaw. I'm doing a YouTube video. Uh, I'm testing out a uh, International 9400. Ah. Uh. Yeah, see if it's any good. Well, it looks pretty good, runs good, but it's got some uh, flaws to it. Uh, when the windshield wiper turns on and it's raining, they don't wipe the rain away. And then the tail lights and brake lights don't work in the back of the truck. Oh, yeah, that one's been like that ever since they put it out. They never fixed it. Yeah, but it's a nice nice looking truck, but it's got a little bit of flaws to it. Yeah. Yeah, did you see my video? Last no. Week? Oh, okay. I went to bed last night. I would stay up all night and sleep all day. I went to bed last night, and that way I could sleep up all day and sleep at night. Oh, okay. Well, I was in the hospital last night because my asthma kicked in last night really bad. Ah. Uh, yeah, but I did a really good video of uh, the American tr Truck Show last night. Oh, yeah, I watched that. I've seen that. Yeah, and uh, there were some beautiful trucks. And blowing them goddamn fucking train horns. Oh yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why they think they gotta do that for. Oh yeah, well, they just do for the crowd. Yeah. And they were running their Jake Briggs and Silver Chat. <laughs> That's just part of a parade. Oh yeah. There was like over at least a, I I would I would if I had a whole video it would have been almost two hours long. Yeah. Yeah, because how much that how many trucks were there in the parade? I only did so much of them and everything, so I had to I had to close my ears a little bit because it was so loud. I used to drive an international 9400 truck and with a cat motor in it, single yeah. axle, yeah, sing, single axle, 10 speed. Yeah, I used to drive a Mac. When I was driving for Cisco, I, they were they had Freightliner Cascadias. And, yeah. Yeah, the Freightliner Cascadias were uh, 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 some were automatic and some were uh, ten speeds. Uh, they had Mac International. Now they got Volvo day cabs coming into Cisco now. Last time I knew. 
Have you been through that million dollar highway yet? I've drove it in real life. Oh, did you? Is that like that in real life, <coughs> the million, that million dollar I, highway? I don't know. I haven't drove it in the game yet. Oh, okay. Now, Route 129 in game is beautiful. They only have one sleep option that's between 24 and 75. Around by Kentucky in, in that area. And you don't want to have a wide load on that on that route because it's narrow and there's and it's not one way it's both ways and they have one rest stop and it's right on the edge of the cliff yeah yeah kind of it kind of reminds me of a, um, a, a a route that we took in West Virginia it's supposed to have been a truck route and my brother and I took it and it was not made for 53 footers <laughs> yeah, I've run the uh, million dollar highway in real life, so. Oh, okay. Is it is it is it really cool? It's dangerous as hell. Okay. They see in a tractor trailer. Oh, I oh I bet. So, but no, I'm just kind of testing this out and stuff yeah I, I had to take a break from gaming you know I had to I wanted to go up and see that <clears throat> every September around this time they do that truck show I thought old Scott would be in here to, in, in, in teen speak but it didn't Where anybody's at? I, I don't know either. I'm getting about 50, 50. I'm getting about 50 to 55 frame rates with this truck. I'm like 180 miles out from my destination. I'm, I like hauling that military cargo pack stuff. That's really interesting to haul. Hey, I'm thinking about firing up an American truck today. Oh, okay. Why? Uh, we might. You might have. There's one of my one of our, one of our drivers that hasn't been on yet. His name is James. Yeah. And uh, why I'm talking to you? Why I'm trying to talk to you? He put his uh, American Truck Simulator uh, or Steam thing in, in D files, not C files. How would you get that to go up on that chat uh, dialoger? No, you just take it. Just picks up from wherever you want to take and pick it up from. Yeah, because it, because uh, it, it when he logged in and he went to settings. It didn't even, it had the top, very top one, it didn't even, it had blank. Nothing was in it. It wasn't pick, it wasn't picking up the, the, the game, for some reason. And he had a bot version of the game. I gave him everything else, but it would it would not log him in into that logger because his game was not showing up in there for some reason. Yeah, do a sign through his Steam account, give it back over to his uh, give it back over to his. Okay, well, I'll try to work with him uh, sometime tonight again and see what we can do. I thought because you might have had to log into the website before. But it's, but it's supposed to be in Steam, right? Hopefully, that was nice, huh? yeah. Hopefully tonight I will be uh, getting the other the other driver in tonight. And he wants and he wants to learn how to scan. Which one? Uh, uh, Kevin Watts. 
he's one of my uh, friends from Ohio. He's I was talking to some guy last night and told him how to ski in a trailer. Uh, that was uh, uh, the conductor, the, our, the, our boss. That was Tran you was talking to last night. And Kevin, he's really good with paint.net. He just would like to learn how to skin. That's who I was talking to last night was Kevin. Oh, Kevin Watts? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then you, then you met him last night then. Yeah, I met him last Okay. I showed him how to skin a trailer last night. Okay. Loves this game pretty well, and he he downloaded that uh, dirt rally, and he said it's really he said it's really hard to use a lot of uh, arm strength in your in your string wheel. The dirt rally game. He says a lot of cardio involved. James, uh, he's he's around my age, and he's in Michigan, lower part of Michigan. And I was telling him that you guys play GTA, GTA 2, GTA 5, and he says, "Dang, I'll have to play with them." Yeah, I might stream tonight. I don't know. I ain't done it in a long time. Oh, you haven't? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got school tomorrow, so I might not be on Twitch. There's two of them, but I've, the most dangerous one's up in Colorado. In Colorado? Okay. Because I was watching Casket Gaming, and he's, his, the one was he was using was out by Kayanta. And someone was asking me last night where, where it was on the map, and I said, watch, watch uh, Casket Gaming YouTube channel. Now I did the Key West last a uh, couple couple days ago, and that was beautiful. Yeah, I'm doing I'm putting in the Mexico uh, map, okay. going down through Mexico and everything. Right now, I'm trying to 